Hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and... Okay, so we are going to be doing the jazz soundtrack today. And let's have a quick look at which... Which of our potential signatures we are going to be doing today. Like, I was thinking about doing Fading Petal, but I think no. Not because I, like, dislike Fading Petal or anything. If anything, it's because I do kind of like it, and I want to save it from whatever, from whatever happens next. I think we're going to do Whirling Tornado. And there's basically what you get with Whirling Tornado. Alright, so base damage is 8, with the final hit doing 10. Okay, so how do I want to set this up? Do I want to do critical hit again? I don't know, this seems like something I should be building towards balance. There we go, so that's a little better. Um, what do I do? To this is more of like a circular get off me option, so what else can we build to go around this? We're gonna be looking at something kinda mid range, I think. Which makes me think that the best thing to pair it with would be something. Something like Ignition Drive, or Erupting Cannonade. I think what I'm going to pair it with... Ooh, Thundering Chain, Bolt Claymore, like, I have ideas, but nothing makes a ton of sense at the moment. Maybe what I'll pair it with is Cascading Blitz. Use this to just kind of power powering two enemy ranks and then set off the whirling tornado then anything beyond that is just moot. yeah I think I got it all right so let's go ahead and grab Thunderline then for our basic I don't know if I have a great idea for the basic honestly see I have something that's striking in a circle around me so I don't really need air spin Maybe what I do is I take this. I mean, yeah, that could work. I don't know. It's about the best I've got. Like, the whole the whole video is supposed to be... I'm gonna do that again. The whole video is definitely supposed to be putting the focus on Whirling Tornado. But I don't know if I have a lot to really say about this one. And it's not for a particularly strong or engaging reason. I'm telling you that right now because there's not a lot to Whirling Tornado. It's just a nice circular get off me option that they decided, okay, we need something to turn into a signature with this update. What do we turn into a signature? Uh, how about that one? Well, how do we even turn into a signature? Do we make it bigger and do more hits? Do we make it bigger and score more hits? Nah, just give it a... Just give it a really weird... Why did it say it did, like, thousands of damage? That's so weird. I just noticed that. This must be a huge glitch with the spell. Like, am I seeing that right? Like, seriously, why is it coming up with that many digits? I am so confused. Because I guarantee it's not doing a million damage in-game. Matter of fact, I'd be, curious, I'd be curious if it were doing any real damage in-game. But, okay, the whole point of Whirling Tornado is that when you use it, it just creates, like, a daisy chain of Whirling Tornadoes. That, yes, you can... Uh, yeah, you can control it, control how they how they uh, fan out at least a little bit, but that's 
That's kind of it. Like, this is one of those... Like, this is one of those signatures that doesn't really do a lot for me, like, at all. Hmm, token of health. I'll probably want that. What are you? Uh, it's uh, exploding. All right. Oh, well, that's lovely, actually. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm liking the idea of cascading blitz and fiery yo-yo more than more than the tornado. The tornado I honestly do not care about. Ah, nuts. I'm trying not to be too much of a downer here because it's not like Whirling Tornado is like necessarily 100% awful, but I know that I don't like it. And can I give you a succinct reason why I don't like it? Well, it doesn't do a lot of damage, its signature cast is iffy at best. And being able to like whirl it around like that doesn't necessarily make it more worthwhile. Because it's still lasting the same amount of time, scoring basically the same number of hits, it's just doing so over a larger area. Which means if it wasn't good against bosses before, it's not going to be any better against bosses now. Alright, let's check, see if we have anything good here. I mean, I could grab Soaring Ivy. You know, honestly, just because it will help, it'll basically max out the Captain's Ring, let's do it. So, this is going to be an awkward episode for me because I it's my job to review Whirling Tornado. What the hell do I even say about it that isn't obvious? I mean, it, it hits in a circle, so you use it when you're surrounded. Hey, who here isn't going to listen to that and go, Oh, thanks, Captain Obvious has decided to grace us with his presence. Like what do I even what do I even say that isn't com that isn't completely obvious? I 
you know, it, it hits in a 360, but it, it's got a short range, so you have to stand a little closer. And obviously it's not charging up its own signature gauge particularly well. Hey, I, I was talking down about Wind Flurry when I first picked it up, but looking back on it, I kind of like Wind Flurry. <laughs> like, there was a run where it just did not do what I wanted it to do, and I was just like, man, screw this! Screw this Arcana and everyone who looks like this Arcana. So, you know, if you look like a Wind Flurry, you're in trouble. But then after using it that last time and realizing that I was kind of not doing much with its greatest strength, which was how frequently you can cast it, I started to think, oh, maybe I'm... <laughs> Maybe I'm doing things wrong here. Maybe the key to getting this thing to work is basically just spamming the crap out of it. And then by spamming the crap out of it, I realized, oh hey, it's actually got kind of a fat, kind of a, it's got a good, I was going to say fast cooldown, but, you know, okay, sure, granted. But then I, then after that, and after experimenting, experimenting some more with it, I discovered, mm -hmm. Hey, is this kind of charging signature spells a little bit faster than I thought it would? No, it, it just kind of came together with this kind of understanding of, okay, yeah, it's got a narrow hitbox and it doesn't do a lot of damage, but you're also casting it a lot and it's really good at building up signatures, so if you use it as your... So if you're using it as your standard instead of as your signature, you could be building up a completely different signature pretty nicely. I mean, I don't know if it works as well as Twin Turbines, but and maybe you want to do a run without Twin Turbines? A lot of you on the comments are just going to be like, Dark Sage, don't ever tell us not to use Twin Turbines, what is wrong with you? Yeah, I'm just going to move on to the next one. No, I'm not. I'm going to take this because it's cheap and, hey, maybe I'll run into the affor affordable mimic. Adorable mimic. Wouldn't it be nice if the adorable mimic was also affordable? But I, I imagine that thing has got like a couple thousand dollar adoption fee. Another group of people in the comments. Dark Sage, you just made me sad. I wanted to adopt that mimic. I'm okay with Gust Volley. It's both damage and control. I can always go for some more of that. Um, okay, yeah, I don't care about any of these. Okay, we're we're kind of making this work now.
Uh, no thanks. That's too much air. I'm already a bit of an air-headed person today. Like, seriously, my entire day has just been... Just... Like, not necessarily light-headed, but just... Just blanking out on things. And maybe it's not the sort of thing that I should be admitting to, but... God, it just... It just hasn't felt right all day. But it's okay, I'm here, I'm playing Wizard of Legend, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking that dis I'm also, you know, just let me run an idea by you guys real quick, I'm just, this is what happens when I get airheaded by the way, I just, but yeah, I was thinking even though I said I wouldn't do it, maybe I will, maybe I will do, <laughs> do some videos of Chrono Arc because I've realized I haven't seen a lot of other people doing videos on Chrono Arc. And I think the game is just absolutely ballers. Maybe... Maybe instead of complaining about why the game isn't getting more attention, I should be one of the people that gives the game more attention. See, you kind of see where I'm coming from here on this. You know, be the change you want to see in the world and all. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. The signature really isn't that good against bosses, but you know what? It does work out plenty well against mooks just because it has that big circular like area of effect, and then you're essentially extending that out beyond its normal borders, so... <clears throat> against mooks, it's fine. It doesn't do a lot against against bosses, but you know what? I can honestly accept the idea that that the that when you're using it against bosses, you're more so using it to extend the combo than anything else. Kind of like that. Like that's that's what my brain, where my brain goes to when I think, oh, combo extension. Okay, throw this on at the end, and then if you have some more time, you can go run in and do something with that, or you know, there's things you can do with that. You know, we're gonna grab that just because I very much dislike water mages and summoners. Alright, is there anything else here I want? Not really. Alright, moving on. I probably should have just grabbed a random relic just in case the adorable mimic showed up. Oh well. So, now, so long as I'm being completely transparent, I should say, do any of these things act as deal breakers for, for the whirlwind? And honestly, no, if I'm being honest, a lot of it is just preferences. Whirling Tornado, that's it. For some reason, I couldn't remember the name of the name of the spell. That's embarrassing. Oh, smart. Hmm. 
Um, well, we have to adopt them. We have to adopt the fairy. That's that's non-negotiable. And it's nothing electric here, so moving on. No, there's nothing here I'm going to sell you. Not unless I find a freebie that I don't want to carry with me. Then I'll sell you something. Blue portal. I think, if anything, I would put the Whirlwind in very much a and the average category. Like, it's not necessarily terrible, it's not necessarily great, it just is. Like, if you want something that hits in a circle around you, there are a few other options that I would choose before this. And if you're looking for a signature, you're looking for you're looking for signatures that fit a specific criteria, but I don't know whose specific criteria is does the same thing except for, you know, in a line in a line fragment. Line segment, stupid. Oh yeah. And obviously being able to kind of curve the essentially tornado, like, beam of tornadoes, that in and of itself is fun. I, I see nothing wrong with that. But it doesn't exactly add on to its functionality. So it just falls into this weird sort of like semi-niche area where it's like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. That was a lovely fight. I think what it's going to end up being is that for a lot of people, this spell will just kind of whirl on off into irrelevance, and yeah, I can kind of see, kind of see why. Like, this spell is very, is very much just... It's almost like it's just a placeholder for greater things. Thank you. Smooth. You can say whatever you want about that tactic, but you know what? I got that wall, but good.
Now it's also ra it's also relatively obvious that the signature cast is doing more damage, but I wonder if it's because it's doing you know damage on quicker intervals, or if the spell itself just does more damage when you signature cast it. Like the like if the damage values actually increase. Like I wish I had an answer for that. Obviously, they don't increase by that much, but... Okay, and I'm getting the feeling that I'm probably going to want to... Probably gonna want to hang on to that fortune cookie, because I'm getting the feeling that she's not gonna upgrade my cascading blitz. Teddy bear mask. Fun. Right. Now, I could just take a risk and move on without it. And I think I will just because I do believe that that is the right choice. But if I end up not... If I end up not being able to upgrade my... But it will feel a little silly if I could have had it upgraded just by holding on to the fortune cookie. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so... We're gonna go ahead and use this just because it's, you know, cheap potion, but then we don't need that anymore. So grab that. And we'll grab, drop that for the Pathfinder's knapsack. I don't exactly need a ton of gold, so... Yeah, that room was a mess. I'm also not the biggest fan of Shock Nova. Seems like Cecil has a few things to say about it, though. And Cecil's thoughts are, man, that's yellow. Sweet, I curved the tornadoes around anything that I actually wanted to hit. Okay, cool. Oh, and look, we can buy Gust Volley. God, I don't even, I don't know if I have that spell. I should maybe buy it.
Oh, now both birds have a few things to say. This is both birds warning me that I'm not picking up the Journal of Midas. No, oh, it's gold! You should pick it up, totally! You should listen to us! Even though we have objectively no idea what you're doing. Subjectively, that book is gold. You should have it. Um, let's see here. have one cursed relic, so is any of this really going to be all that useful? I mean, it's it'll be 10% damage and stun him and stun time, so really no reason not to have that. <laughs> First time I've been hit with that in a long time. Holy crap. Oh wow. I am just Oof. Yeah, not not thinking things through very carefully now, am I? Oh my goodness. So let this be a reminder that anyone can get caught by these attacks, especially if you're not thinking about what you're doing. As far as what happened to me there, uh, something along the line, something along the lines of thinking that I had the dash properties from a different game. Well, well, Whirling Tornado, it's been a nice ride. It's about to come to an end. And all I can say about you is that you were a very mediocre companion this entire way. Like, honestly, if I were you, I would be a little embarrassed.
Owie. No. And that's it. But just in case. There you go. This run was all about Whirling Tornado. And it is. Boy, Whirling Tornado, you are certainly an Arcana. You're the, you're the most Arcana that's ever arcana I don't think that word is supposed to be a verb. Dark Sage needs a nap. Yeah, sorry guys, I just don't have a lot to say about Whirling Tornado. Like, it's... It does what it does, and it does no more. Like, there's very little hidden about it, aside from maybe if you can get more damage by, like, wrapping the spell around, its, around itself and overlapping some of the hitboxes. You might be able to get off some more damage that way, but I'm pretty comfortable letting you guys just handle that. I'm, you guys know what to do. I, I just don't have a lot to say about this one because it's not like it enables anything really interesting, but it is an interesting part of a combo with some forward movement like I was trying to show you with the Cascading Blitz. Or Soaring Ivy. Like, honestly, it's not a bad combo piece, it's just not a good signature. So, I don't know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but guys, thank you very much for watching. I, <clears throat> I'm happy that you came here and decided to spend some of your free time here with me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker. Hey, Bird, do you want to say anything at the end? That's when they choose to quiet down. Isn't that amazing? You guys take care.